in game number one, both going to be burning Decimus. Jeff kills immediately, gonna be opening Chopper here, Absolution gonna be opening Jackrab, it looks like possible double scout coming out of them. Shaq gonna be opening Chopper, Major gonna be opening Jackrab, it might be getting a mirror on either side here, it's just a question of who wins. Redline, here battle Jackrabbits, or time for heroes. Katana surely takes that 1v1 battle based on numbers, uh, but it's all gonna come down to who can pull off the best Vortex here. Got Chopper and a Grunt from here, Abs uh, from Jeff Kills, gonna be harassing the Grunt on the power here. He's gonna be able to secure that and pick off a Grunt for himself. Chopper's gonna be uh, countering another Grunt on the opposite side there. Yeah, so they're just gonna trade Grunts here, so not too bad for Shaq's start. But he is gonna lose the main power bundle in the center, unless he sends his Chopper there, because Blue's Chopper was running away. He's kinda just patrolling the area, making sure he gets all of this power. Oh, big ram! He actually got some airtime there as well as he went off the uh, ground. And Red's ram didn't actually seem to do as much. <gasps> he waited the vortex to win the fight. Wow, I don't know if that's going to be worth it for him, but he kept his chopper alive. He picked off the other chopper and he might now be able to kill this grunt and earn some of that power back. If he kills this grunt and gets this power back, that's going to be a great play by Shaq. It doesn't look like he's winning this fight though. He's going to lose chopper. He needs to back off. He needs to back off. He needs to get a grunt here instead. He's keeping at a distance, doing a great job there, keeping this chopper alive. Oh my god, they're so close, it's literally one shot. The Grunt's now going to be picking up some of the power, he's going to lose the Grunt, and Shaq's going to win the micro battle. Just outplayed Jeff Kills here, and he's now going to be able to pick up some more power while he gets his second generator up as well. It's like Major managing to pick up most of the minis on his side. He's going to be going double gen as well. Three mini bases on his side, hopefully we're going to be seeing an armory from him as the Jerome player. Shaq with that little bit of micro now can upgrade his second generator. So good start for Shaq picking off a chopper and two grunts and securing some of that power as well. But unfortunately Jeff did manage to pick up most of the big power bundle in the center there. Major does have the armory up. Support drone now has been researched for Hero Absolution, so Katsana Rabbits are on the way. Jerome will not be going Rabbits. He has his leader. Leader Marine. Looks at things from him, and we're getting grunts coming out of Shaq. Another chopper from Jeff Kill. So, yeah. It's going to be double scout from the blue team, but they're going to be coming up against a Jerome hero uh, with grenade throw as well. Has he got his leader out yet? He's getting grenade throw before the hero, so he's going to be really far behind on the Jerome. And Shaq will be going into Shrapnel Mines, so it's grenade and Shrapnel Mines versus double scout here. So obviously in a head-up engagement, um, the grenade throw and grunt mines should win. Um, but blue team have the mobility to just avoid the fight, drive around to a main base and do some damage that way. A lot of mines going down. We got a hell drop as well. Oh my god. Four jackrabbits just disappeared. Chopper's disappearing as well. Team France winning this engagement. Blue team choosing to fight head on against mines. Not the best decision from them, but Hero just lost about eight jackrabbits. Might lose another one here as well. Luckily, most of the choppers managed to get out alive, but they cannot engage this. When Jerome comes, it's going to get even harder for them as well. Red team should be able to secure all of these power nodes. Just gotta wait for the leader powers. Oh, 
Big heal coming down with the Vortex there. Got an Angie now coming out of Shaq as well to heal up all these grunts. A lot of them are red bar. He's going to be going into a Warlord. So they're both swapping into double leaders. They're playing a heavy tech one game. Now got the uh, Shrapnel Rounds upgrade for the Choppers. A Warlord can pull some of these in. Already used these Vortex as well. Got the Jackrabbits harassing the Minis. And this is what they should have done from the start. Harass the Minis rather than fighting the army head on. Big Warlords coming down here. Going to be getting ramped. Can he pull? Not going to be able to pull. Melee heroes don't really work very well. We get scouts. This is better from blue now though. He's catching a lot of marines off guard here. He's not choosing to throw his grenade throw. You might as well just throw it. I'll put some damage onto these scouts. Red team. Jerome's now on his way. Mastodon's on the way as well. We've got an expo getting picked up for hero. He's getting into tech two. Jeff. All right, Jeff's still 300 power away from tech two. The wall are just in the middle, pulling jackrabbits like crazy. And now we have the jackrabbits on the main base of Shad. This is what I mentioned earlier in the game. They have the mobility to just go around and harass the base. And this generator is already half health. And the guns are just going to take forever to get back. And that's the advantage of having scouts. Despite losing a lot of jackrabbits early on in the game. Um, they're still doing a really good job. They're still ahead in this game. Taking down that generator. Getting tech 2 and getting the expo up as well. I mean, I think mage is actually going to be tech 1 forever. Big beam going down on all of the grunts. No splits from Sha. Everything disappears. Everything. Just ate that beam. Drum and the Mantis are here. Going to be cleaning up a lot of these choppers. But the Jackrabbit is going to be going in for another push onto the main base of Shaq. And that is his only generator. He's got no units here to defend. Needs to get the engines back. It's like he's neglecting to defend. Look how much base damage the Jackrabbits do if they're left uncontested. Vortex going to be going down on some of the Jackrabbits. A heal going to be going down on the base. So good comms there from Red Team. The, Jack the Vortex going to do a bit of damage to the Jackrabbits. Here comes the engine now with the Grunts. Jackrabbits going to be forced back. Going to be forced to push away. They don't need to come all the way back though. They've pushed it off. They could have pushed this Expo. Denied that. If you're spending this much power on Tech 1, you need to do something with it. He's got Grenade Throw. He's got Jerome. He has Mastodons. He has a base. Finally gets into Tech 2. Second generator has now been rebuilt. It is getting upgraded. Mine's going to be going down, but they're going to be seen by the shrapnel rounds. Base almost going to get denied. He's going to be forced to recycle that. And Jerome is going to push the army off. But again, Kinsano has the mobility. She has the harassment capabilities uh, to keep red team on the toes here. Jackrabbits are upgraded. The shroud's not going to matter too much. They can see this. Another hog drop's going to be coming down onto these hunters. Decimus Banshee's on the way from Jeff. Looks like we got a, a triple build of Banshee's from him. He's got his expo. Hero has his upgraded. Team France still trying to secure theirs. Got a shield on the main base of Shaq. Combat tech now coming out. I mean, the problem with Mastodons is they're so slow. 
Um, so they're going to be playing defense all game. If if Jerome decides to push out, he's going to get punished by Kinsano and the Desi Banshees. They've got too much mobility with these Hogs and the Banshees. Again, going to be harassing the Expert of Major here with the Kinsano here. And look how slow the army is to get back. He has to even make some sort of trade or just stay on defense all, the whole time. Hogs on his main base now. Flame wall going down on the expert, already down to half health. Shaq coming out with banshees of his own. Combatant Marines can heal this up, he's got enough numbers here. Harassing the turret that's actually being upgraded. We've got one being upgraded at the back, but you need to cancel that upgrade. Nah, he's gonna lay it upgrade. That's a waste of 300 power. Ooh, nice healer. Nice healer gonna push off the Warthogs. Banshees now harassing the mini bases as well from Jeff. Major is about to get his expert upgraded. You don't want to be wasting a beam on Banshees. They're too fast to get out, but Jeff's going to lose one. He was kind of just sat there, but he's only going to lose one. He needs to split up his Banshees to chase this. The arm is too slow with the Hunters. And there's more Banshees coming in from Jeff. He needs to chase it with his Banshees. He has more here. He can keep Jeff's numbers down and get his own number Banshee numbers up. Uh, they'll be looking really good. But the Rico's been crushed at the moment. Oh, big beam. Big beam. He's just sitting in it. Just lost all of his Marines. Now the Warthogs are coming. The mine's going down at the back. Flame drop. Warthog drop's going to be going onto the mines uh, to explode those. And a big flame wall from Hero as well. Red team just getting pulled apart right now. Jeff even has Banshees over here on Major's Expo. They're going to finish that off. That's going to go down. And he literally just lost his whole army to a beam. Loses his expo. Shaq gets his expo up, but they're just going to push up onto Yellow's main base now. And I mean, he's on Mastodons. There's nothing he can do. Lost all his combat set marines. He's on nine population. He lost his hero. Big Inferno coming down on the main base. That's it. This is going to be game. This is going to be the end. Vortex on the main as well. Vortex on the Banshees. That's adding extra damage to that base with the Inferno and everything's been melted. Shaq can't even make it here to help his teammate defend. Major has 2k power. 1.5k blue. You have been eliminated and are now spectating is the sign that comes up for RTS Major. Now we're just waiting for Red Team to resign really. There we go, Shaq is going to resign. Game number one to hero kills. So there we have it, game number one. Going to be going it down to Hero and Jeff there. Vestimus has been banned from both teams, so we're going to be going on to game number two. This is a best of three, so if Team France don't manage to pull something off here and win this game, they will be out of the tournament. This is not a double elimination tournament. They will be completely knocked out. Uh, try again next month scenario.
Uh, we were about to get started, but someone aborted. All right, sorry guys. I just had to say night to my son, and now we can focus on all of the games. So we got Yap Yap Trucks versus Yap Yap Drum. It's still early in the game, so we haven't missed too much. Shaq actually picking up both of the minis. That's... He can't afford his third pad because he picked up both of the minis. That's interesting. So what's Major going to go into? I don't think you need the back mini that early. We're we going into a, a power extractor there. I mean, if he's going choppers, I would have liked to see a triple harvester open it rather than the uh, power extractor fed, but there we go. And Armory coming down four from here in Absolution, so we're going to be seeing Jerome really early here. He probably went gen first as well. He hasn't upgraded his harvesters, so definitely looking to prioritize getting that Jerome out as quickly as possible. Yeah, the War Council coming down fifth from RTS Major. Shaq has 800 blue. He's going to be going into a raid camp, so we're going to be spending that mostly on heavy grunts. He probably should have gone um, double raid camp with like methane wagons or something. He's going to be picking up a really early expo here. Nailock95, welcome, welcome. Glad you could make it. Alright, surprise party mine level 1 is ready. So maybe he did go methane. He did go methane. So we're going to be seeing heavy grunts of methane. And he can get a, a double build of methane wagons here with that early expo. Chopper's going to be coming out for Jeff Kills. The heroes here. Chosen is out. Jerome is upgraded though. Jerome's upgraded. The Chosen is not. So he needs to be careful pushing up here. Got a nice little uh, fodder scout here. He needs to back off. The choppers are going through him. The mines are down. He's going to be running in onto the mines. He gets ramped off the mines. He just makes it out alive and drops the plasma mines as well. Really close for him. The man has dropped. Going to be coming down and he gets the upgrade for the Chosen. That was a close call for Major. Going to be detonating the mines as well with the fodder. Is he going to go EMP as well for the uh, hero? Chosen needs to back him up. It's mainly fodder here though from Red. There is a methane wagon now. 
Major needs to regroup with him. Blue team doing a really go good job at staying together. And honestly, it's going to come down to that third point as well. The mind drop, the shit drop. On one side, you're going to have a salvo that's going to be coming down with that. Um, and Ishrax think he's, he can only go Bulwark or Dying Breath, so he's not going to have like a new conferred point to help his team. He will have Plasma Mines though, so they can do a double mine combo um, with the Shade Turret drop. Blue team did secure the central power node, so that, that is really good for Vision. So they can back right off and still see like the army here, so it's really good for Vision, especially for the Jerome and the Manus. He has a long range uh, when he's in the Manus. So you can just harass with that. Second generator. Coming up. We got an Apex coming up for Shaq, so we got Angie's on the way as well. And an Apex from Major and a second base from Major as well. So they're both going Apexes with the second bases. They really don't like to prioritize Tech 2 on the red team. Shrapnel rounds now being upgraded for the choppers. Let's just check see if the heavy grunts have the Y ability. They do not have the Y ability. But the Chosen can uh, deal with most of those choppers. Looks like Jerome ate a mine there. Oh, the Chosen's going to get him in the mines. He's going to slow him down in the mine. The mine is going to be going down. The double mine, the single mine going to be going down. Victory mine's now going to be going down as well. But they all get blown up. Man is super weak. Are they going to finish it off? They are going to finish it off with a shot from across half court with the Chosen. A lot of methane wagons. He needs his second gen. God, Shaq needs like a triple gen right now to catch up on tech. They might be winning tech one at the moment, but... With Hero into tech two, he's going to have a tech two Jerome right now as well. And he's pushing up to the center. And that's going to be nasty. Red team just go hard. Tech one, so bad. We saw it last game and it didn't work out for them. Blue team just saw that huge army come up and they just backed off. Now they're going to start engaging. There's the mine combo with the share drops and the salvo. Just as we called and look at that. Bulwark's going to be really late. Counter some of it, but they're going to lose a lot. Counter share drop now, but there's no mines to follow up with it. They used all the mines in an earlier engagement and they uh, missed everything. Bit of lag there, probably feeling it for all players. Here, Absolution, four population. All he has is the Jerome. But that's really all you need. Chosen's lost his shield. What the hell? So much stuff going on. It's just lagging the game completely. There comes the mana drop with the Victory Mine. He's going to hop in that. Victory Mine's now come down. The Chosen's going to get rammed. He's really weak. He doesn't have his Tech 2 upgrade. Jerome's dominating here. Jerome is absolutely dominating. He needs to get his chosen out there. He needs to pop some of the energy shields as well. He'll be chasing down the Jerome as much as they can, but he's really quick. The Wolverine coming out. Going to get hit by the chosen, slurped by the chosen. As soon as Red Team gets tech 2. Shaq doesn't have it yet. He's still building methane wagons, uh, but Major is tech two with an upgraded expo. So if he can, he's got the fair generator coming up. If he can get that chosen upgraded, uh, Red Team will be looking really good. They're going to clear out the uh, middle mini. They're going to retake the middle power node, and Jerome only has the leader to clutch onto. If they can take down that leader, it's going to be game pretty much. Got a few choppers coming in for the scout. We'll see the Mephane Wagon. Jeff should have Tech 2 now. He does have Tech 2. He's got the triple raid camp coming out. It's, uh... constructed. Combat station upgrade complete. And the action finally slows down. Got Ranger here. I feel like Shaq's overcommitted on Mephane Wagons. Oh, we got a big drop coming down on the main base of Shaq, but we got a beam instantly on top. Going to be taking down the Mephane Wagon. See, this is what differentiates top teams uh, from the lower champs teams. Red team are going to send their whole army back to deal with two grunt riders and two heavy grunts. And and then blue team are just going to retake map control. Look at this. The whole army is coming back to deal with this drop. 
And they've got Angies and Choppers. They're going to defend it with a Methane Wagon. They already have enough units there to defend it. The Beam killed the other Methane Wagon. And now they've just given up map control. There you go. It got cleaned up as the reinforcements arrive. The reinforcements don't even have to be there, but who the hell builds six Methane Wagons? No wonder he's still... The good stuff, he's upgrading the wagons as well. He gets the fair generator up. He's got the uh, war council coming up as well for the grunt goblins, but Jeff's way ahead of him on that. Yeah, Jeff has the double war council, so the grunt goblins are coming out, going to be upgraded way earlier. And here is almost tech free to get that tech free Jerome. I feel like Red Team are just kind of throwing right now. They won the tech one game, but they didn't do anything with it. They took a power node and uh, took a mini base, which they gave up on the Grunts from above drop when they had to go back to defend. No big engagement going down. Smoke's going up. They're going to be lagging again. We got the victory turret, the salvo. This is where you need the Grunt Goblins or a Grunt Dome or something to help defend this out. The bullwet again really late, but that could be due to lag. Don't think we got lag in the first game, but everything going down now. Big engagement. Shade turret drops, mine drops going down left, right, and center. Hero Absolution down to 16 population. A few hawks and a leader. That's all he has right now. Shaq loves beam, so... Uh, he used it earlier, never mind. He used the beam earlier. If he had a beam here on this choke point, he would destroy it so much, because that Grunt Goblin is not upgraded, and Red Team just going to bully this. They're just going to push it down. Methane Wagon's putting in a lot of work. They need to chase... They have to chase this. He doesn't have his mana, so he can't drop the laser barrage madness down. They're just going to push it all the way back to the base. No shield on the main either. It's all group, though. I would split your methane wagons to get the biggest debuff area as possible and push the banshees forward to chase this down. I think a grunt dome here could end the game. In the choke point, though, he's going to split out of there. You don't want to be in that choke. Big Grunt Dome from Red, there we go. They can just sit in this now. Grunt Goblin's getting picked off by the Chosen. They're just gonna sit in the Grunt Dome. It's down to half health. A Red Team might win. Gonna pick off a pad, there's no shield on the main base. There is a big mana drop connecting with a lot of units there. Grunts from above ready for Jeff kills as well. They're in no position to make a counter push. Everything is going to be going down to defend here. Good done from blue now, but that's going to drop even quicker than the red one did. They're going to back off to the expo. The expo don't have a shield on either. Shardstorm launcher and more Grunt Goblins coming out. Double mine now for Jeff, though. Is this the combo? Double mine going down. They do get blown up. The beam's going to be going down on the Grunt Goblins. Almost losing both of those. Definitely going to lose one. Oh, going to lose two as well. Red Team just bullying right now. Big Omega Team coming down. Mines coming down. He's going to drop some slams. Try and connect the mines. Mines are going to sit there. They're going to blow up. He needs to drop his Grunt Goblin heals now. And it just depends what reinforcements Red are bringing in in the background as well. Can they take down the Spartans? He's got Tech Free Jerome. A shield gem would save it. One of the Spartans almost falling. He's going to jump away, try and get to safety. Red and blue, uh, red and yellow are split right now. Looks like yellow is getting bullied. That's why you need the methane in there. You need the methane on the army. Chosen's going to be pushed away. He's going to save him. He's not going to save him. Is he going to teleport away? They're just going to back off. Wow. There we go. He's going to teleport away. So he's going to save the Chosen. So blue team actually holding that. Major down to 23 population now. Hero back up to 44. Jeff 45. And Shaq max 80. More Banshees on the way. Don't know why he's getting the raid camp. Just needs reinforcements. That's all. You know, I don't think you want to go into raves at this point with the Omega team on the field.
He's going to be running all the way back to his base. Tail between his legs. Here we're going to be picking up a third base as well as they're pushing out. Major needs to get back online. He needs to just spam units or something. So he's doing NG Hunter. NG Hunter Reaver. Grunts. Blister backs. He has everything. Wraith. Blister back. Wraith. Marauder. Grunt. Hunter. Banshee. You name it. Major's got it. Plasma Mars going to be going down. Uh, Jeff wasting all of his heals. The, the army didn't actually take damage. He just used all of his heals. Mine and drop going down again. Methane party going to be going down on the blue team as they push them. That's normally best comboed with a beam. Does so much damage with a beam. Chosen is now a tech free. He's going to be pushing up. Bullwet going to be going down on one hunter there. Major has no blue. His Chosen's on his own. Shaq's not with him. The rest of his army's not with him. I'm not sure what they're doing here, but Grundom going to be going down with the mines in the Grundom as well. They're going to be exploding and going off. Grundom falls. We've got a beam coming down on Blue's army at the back. We've got a Salvo going down. There's so much shit going down now in the middle of this fight. And scrolling through the players, all we can see who's winning is by population. And it looks like red team holding over 100, blue team holding about 110 as well. Still pretty even. Um, we've got all those leaders out of here, Absolution, the Tech Free Jerome. We've got Tech Free Grunt Goblins. I think, yeah, Jeff Kills is the only player not Tech Free right now. like here is going to be feeding Jeff power maybe just to get into tech free. yeah he's going to be feeding him power to get into tech free heels coming down again from Shaq big beam at the back oh that's a huge beam at the back the Grundum's forced to come down got tanks now coming out of here absolution he's going to lose one of those the heels from Shaq are spread out Honestly, Je Shaq's doing a much better job at healing with his Grunt Doblins than sh uh, Jeff is. Jeff took no damage in the middle and he wasted all three Grunt heals. Uh, where Shaq is kind of just spreading them out to try and heal the army up. Obviously, with lag, it can be a problem to time those perfectly. Um, but they're doing a good job. Still pretty even at this stage. Hero's about to get a fair base online and Red haven't even scouted it. And the, the engagements really, honestly, have been pretty even. Jeff still no shield on his main base. These banshees could be doing more. And like, look at this. They've just left this up. They just stood here. They've left this up while they're letting blue team take down the mini base on the right side. The banshees could have easily scouted this, fly around, and just do something. You gotta make use of the army you have. Red team want to be looking at taking this fed base now. I say the benefit for the red team is double banish. They can put shields on the bases. Uh, Hero taking this instead of Jeff. Uh, can be quite risky, but you want to see turrets do a lot of damage when upgraded. A couple of blister backs going to be sieging the army from the back. Yeah, looks like we're getting a tank switch from here, Absolution. I mean, Shaq has a lot of Banshees. I'm surprised they haven't scouted that. It feels like Red Team just want to engage the army. They're not really macroing well in the background as such. They spent forever on Tech 1. Grundum going down from red. Uh, dropping a mine on it as well. Was they expecting blue to push, but not the best Grundum. The, the, I mean, blue team's just going to walk away from it. If you're going to push like this, drop the Grundum near the main base. There's no shield on that. 
What's Major doing? He needs to be there with his teammate. He's just sat on the bridge. Glassy Beam. Oh, he scuffed the Erad. He missed the Erad completely. Wow. What a waste of money. Holy crap. Now a big. If he Erads, this is where you want to Erad, bro. Spartan Morale and Drew and Salvo going down. Nobody can see right now. This is like a huge bloody mosh pit. A big fight is going down. Beam from red there. I think. Blisterbacks come into the fight as well. Here on 95. Jeff on 95. Shaq on 72. Another big beam from Jeff this time. Gonna be cancelled. Or did it vanish? Red are losing this fight. Where the Grunt Goblin heals. The Chosen gets Vet 1. A Bullwet gonna be coming down on the army. Dying Breath gonna be coming down. A big Methane Pie. You need that with the beam. You can't just throw it out there like that. You need to use it with the beam. You could have Methane double beamed this army and it just ended everything. This is so skeptical. Red team just gonna back off. I think Major lost everything there. Yeah, Major's back down to 28 population. The Jerome Inspires doing wonders for blue team's army here. Now blue team's turn to push out. Fuck some shit up. Looks like Major is finally going to be picking up that base. And Red have finally scouted the Expo of Hero. It is upgraded. Has an anti air turret on it. But they do have the healing uh, spire. Blue team's going to split up now. Yeah, Jeff's going to be able to take down the third base of Major. It's not even built. Hero's going to come and defend against the Banshees. Major seems to be playing really safe in this game. Man, guys, as well, Jeff Kills has been saying all week they have their comps spot on. They will not lose a single game in this tournament. That is what Jeff Kills said. And this is still looking pretty even right now. Blue team, Blue team are ahead because of the terrible leader powers coming out of a red team and obviously the third base is putting here ahead as well he hasn't lost his omega team omega team's going to be back up his economy is looking absolutely beautiful mage is the one letting the side down right now he doesn't know what to build he's spamming grunts 22 minutes into the game against Jerome and yet look at this beautiful Inspire so pretty Methane want a party and now going to be going down from Jeff Kills going down going to be going down as well big debuff going down there Spartan Morale back up shield drops on the main base two drops go down Spartan Morale gets used a double beam coming down from Shaq no good goblins there to heal up the UNAC player Hero's going to use lose a lot to that beam Shaq needs to heal his army it's all red bar heal comes in just in time Salvo going down on top of the army. Major finally arrives to join the fight. Blue team slowly backing off. Losing the Grunt Goblins. They are crucial in fights. Shaq still has all of his Grunt Goblins. Grunts from above now ready for Jeff kills as well. So the Methane Wagon from that will help with the debuff. Do you know what Shaq's problem is as well this game? He went methane wagons and he stopped building them. This this so goddamn good. If you're gonna commit to that point, the debuff and buff is just so goddamn good. Major now back up to 97 population. Oh, another big beam coming down, and he has no grunt goblins to heal his Oh he does, never mind. He has grunt goblins, he's just not using the heal. It's a good split slow from Jeff. He's only gonna lose a couple of units. He has grunt done back now. Here absolution down to 50 population. They could push this base. Like, they should be pushing this base. They're now letting Jeff get this base up, and it's going to get slowly out of hand for them. Supplies coming in from Major to Shaq.
Go another big push down the middle. But there you go. Big heals going now from Shaq and Jeff both here at the front, tanking everything. Got Vultures just now coming out from uh, Hero Absolution, and with all the armies grouping up like this, those missiles are going to do a lot of damage. Look at these missiles coming in. Please don't shoot me. Comes down from somebody. It doesn't actually tell me the color, um, but by now I think both Yap players will have. Please don't shoot me. Blister backs again at the back. Chosen is vet one. The Banshee is going to be pushing up. More missiles from the Vulture is going to be going down on the army, killing two grunts there. Missed the work again from Major. We've got no Reavers. We actually have no Reavers for these Vultures. That is a lot of Vultures. Holy crap. Is that a level 3 beam? That is a level 3 beam coming down from uh, Jeff Kills here. The heals get bent as well. You can't see the beam. The beam's invisible. Everything's disappearing. You just see shit disappearing. You can't see the beam. WA Shaq just dropped to five population and the game is over. Team France have been knocked out. Hero kills finally take game number two. And what a quarterfinals from those guys.